I would say probably ninth grade in high school I wanted to join the military. I wanted to be a, a pilot. So I, I joined in 1982 while I was still a senior in high school and six days after graduation I was in San Diego doing push-ups. Fortunate enough to become a Cobra helicopter pilot for the Marine Corps and did that for a number of years. Oh, I loved it. I, I learned so many things, worked with some of the neatest uh, individuals. After Iraq, I got selected to become a recruiting station CEO. From there, I went to managing 10 states of Marine Corps recruiting. September 1st, 2011 was officially the last day I was in the Marine Corps. For me, it was, a, I was looking for a job. I mean, I, I, I was not ready to spend all my time sitting on a dock fishing. Um, <clears throat> My goal was to, and my desire was to find a good company where I could grow, uh, find a house, build, buy, whatever, a house that I was finally going to live in for more than three years. Five days after my official retirement, I started on with a company up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, moved my wife up here. We sold our house at a loss because of the home, you know, housing market to move up here, moved into this house temporarily. You know, we only wanted a six month lease because the whole idea was we were gonna go find our last house. Um, and four and a half, five months into working for that company, I was laid off. I was laid off January, 2012. My wood shop, which I enjoyed doing as a stress relief, has been boxed up for, you know, the last year. I mean, this is, this is a good portion of our lives that we just, we didn't even unpack, you know, cause there was always that thought that we were gonna go, we were gonna move again. I was scrambling, you know, cause the whole goal is not to dip into your savings. We worked hard to get that there. So uh, I took a few small, very under, underemployed positions, you might say, to uh, keep some money coming in. My wife got a job and I was in a job, you know, very underemployed position that I was not happy with. And once my wife got her job, it was enough for what we needed. And uh, I quit that and now spend all my time trying to find the job. I check my computer. You know, I have several websites that I go to or my LinkedIn or email, and I'm checking to see if there's been any updates. So you're checking the computer, God stop. You gotta reach out to six, 10 people before you finally get one person who says, yeah, I'm willing to talk to you. you gotta get more coffee, you gotta keep it hot. I would say it's very difficult. If your military odds are, you're going to start somewhere near the bottom. Uh, it's, you are not, uh, it's not like a deck of cards where you're shuffled in. I realize that it's a slightly different industry, not slightly, it is different industry, and you have to learn, but uh, I don't think we're shuffling the deck that we should. It's been tough, and it's been, uh, uh, you know, humbling, but at the same time, I, I'm very fortunate. You know, I have my retirement, and I'm, <clears throat> and I'm fortunate that my wife has a job. You know, every day you're moving forward. Uh, you know, I've made some new contacts that I think that might be able to help me. Every day I am looking for a new job. Every day I think I found a good fit. Um, I got an interview next Wednesday, so you know, my fingers are crossed. Um, you know, I think the biggest problem is you wait every day for that phone call or email. That's when nobody has the same sense of urgency as a guy looking for a job. <laughs>